welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. My name is Steve Tyrrell and today is Tuesday the 13th of July. Um, back at the boat today. Not been here for a week and a couple of days, um, mainly because of, well, you guys, most of you guys know I've started a new job. So uh, last week I was kind of like a, a training week. So I was learning all the ropes of uh, the new company and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then this week I'm on the road this week so I'm on nights so back to the old days of working nights on the trucks and uh, doing a couple of hours here during the day on the boat so I won't be here very long today um, but I'll be back here a couple of days this week but like I said I'll only be doing um, a couple of hours each day so but we'll get a few things done we'll get a few things done so um, anyway it's uh, great to have you along and uh, as always if you enjoy the videos please give me a like and also don't forget to comment down below i do love your comments and um, apart from that don't forget to sub subscribe uh, yeah if i can speak properly i'll tell you yeah don't forget to subscribe so let's jump into the video and see what we're going to do today right i've been and brought some bits for the sink um, from the drain so if I get these bits out I can, I can probably show you easier than rather than tell you so hang on a second right let's get these out anyway right so I've got the big nuts and I bought a new pl couple of plastic washers um, to try and replace the big um, lead washer so I think they will probably do the job actually looking at the size of them I think they'll be okay um, I'm gonna to have to make them slightly bigger just so they fit over the holes. But apart from that, I think they'll do the job. And then with a bit of um, a bit of seal around that joint, that'll be fine. I can't see that being an issue then. I think that'll be all right. And then underneath, <clears throat> we're all going a bit Heath Robinson now. So let me just unscrew it and I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, all right, it's quite hard to do things one-handed. Right, here we go. So I did try a few other things, uh, nothing was satisfactory, mainly because this is a very big thread. Um, and there were a few things I could get to screw onto it, but then nothing after that to get it down to the size I wanted to fit the pipes. So a uh, trip to the Chandlers, got myself a plastic elbow. So that's going to, if I just put that on there, so that will screw onto there. Look. Let's see if I can do this one handed. No, probably not. Right, out of camera shot as always. Let me get it started. Okay. Right, so that will screw onto there like so. Um, and I can always trim a bit of this thread off if I want. Because this, I can either seal it with PTFE tape or I can put a bit of Sikaflex. What I'll probably end up doing is um, putting a little bead of Sikaflex inside the threads and then uh, PTFE tape in the actual threads themselves. So that's that's off the bottom of the sink, so that goes in there like that, and that'll give me an elbow out to the side. And then I've got um, this, uh, this collar here. So that fits internally there now, and that'll screw into that. And then I have this to take that down to the size I want for the tube to go out the, out the boat. So that'll be quite good. Um, I have I have been asked why I'm not putting a U bend on the on the uh, on the bottom of the sink, and the simple answer is because um, the boat isn't connected to any sewers. Um, you won't get any bad smells coming back. You'll only get water sitting in the pipe that you've just tipped down. It. So it'll only ever be sat there for a day or two, something like that. So you won't get any bad smells, and, and you won't get any bad smells off the canal or anything like that either. Um, you might get the odd spider crawl up the hole, but you know I can live with that yeah I can happily live with that so that's that for now so what I'll probably have to do is once I put that lot in I'll have to cut a bit of a hole under here you can see the light shining through the sinkhole so I know roughly where to cut and I'll cut a bit of a hole in that board and that'll um, <clears throat> allow me to go a bit deeper into the uh, into the box underneath and then what I'll do is I'll keep the sink this exact height here now with these three bearers each side and if you can see the ones that side, there you go. Um, I'll tidy them up. I'll glue them together, tidy them up, uh, make them a little bit a little bit bigger, so they fit almost flush to this side here. Look. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put a little 
uh, false front on there and I'll try and get the sink to fit flush when I do the worktops the sink will sit flush with its front of these pretty much as it is now actually that's not too bad um, in fact no I'm not I'm not gonna sit flush was I I was gonna go further back so I'm gonna go right back against the against the units in fact we are back here so I'm gonna go right back against the unit here and then I can seal that I can either take that trim off and seal around it or seal the trim so that's that's the idea and then what I'll do is under the front of the sink here then I will have a little um, like a false bit so you see the grey here it'll be that colour and it'll just be on um, where them three bits of wood there when they're fitted in properly they'll come all the way out to the edge and there'll be a couple of magnets on there and that'll just hold, be held in with a couple of magnets so I can take it off and have a look and I could store things under there like I don't know trays or whatever so there you go right let's uh, think about cutting holes in the uh, the worktop then right stand by get the pencil out mark the hole and uh, make it bigger okay stand by Well, that's the plug hole sealed. Um, future me is going to be criticising myself because um, I use Sikaflex to seal it, but it will seal very well. And that's the problem because in the future, if I need to get that off, it's um, it's going to be sealed very well. <laughs> but we'll play it. We'll play it and see what happens. We'll uh, we'll see how far it gets, and um, I'll cover that in a future vlog if uh, if I ever have to take it off again in the future. And, um, we'll see what happens okay let's carry on let's carry on get some uh, PTFE tape and uh, seal the u-bend on the bottom here uh, not the u-bend the 90 degree angle Right, kitchen unit's all uh, screwed to the side now, nice and tight. Um, that's not the worktop, that's just the side I've put on there so I can use it as a table. But that's all screwed in. I think I'll chuck another one at the top here, just to give it a bit of stability. And probably I'll do the same here as well, chuck another one at the top, give it a bit of stability. But that's in now. Um, and they're all screwed together as well. Uh, but I have cheated um, because the sink was quite a tight fit um, I've added another bit of board here um, it was one of the shelves out the drawers that I'm not going to use so I've just trimmed the top side off it so it fits 
Um, the only thing is when the sinks in you're going to see this here and there'll be a tiny gap down here between the drawer or the door front and the grey piece there. So what I might do is when I've finished I might try and buy one of these boards um, just buy the board on its own in grey and then trim a, sli a slither off the end and just um, cheat and glue it in something like that. But that was it was just a too much of a tight fit. This is a 600 unit and when you measure the sink it's actually something like um, 604 or 603, 604 millimetres. It's just that slightly bit wider so it was pushing the sides out, it was making the sides squeeze out. Uh, I think you saw it on the last video but it won't do that now. Um, but like I said we can have a gap down there where the door shuts because on the side you see they all stick out slightly. So yeah I'll cheat, I'll buy one of these boards and I'll trim the end off and I'll stick it on and you won't see it. And this top piece here, um, I'll do something with that and you won't see that either. You know, so it won't be too bad. It won't look as bad as you think. You know, I will. Uh, I will make it look pretty, one way or another. It will look pretty. Okay. So, I could probably still spend about an hour at the boat before I go home. Um, hang on, before I tell you what I'm going to do, this wide piece now, I've put some quite long screws through there now. Uh, you got a couple on this side, there's one there and there's one over there as well. Um, and there's four on the other side going through this way. Mainly because once you put the Belfast sink on here, this isn't massively stable. So it's, it's got five legs, but that Belfast sink's bloody heavy. And this was rickety a little bit, you know what I mean? So I've put extra fixings through to tie it all together here, just to make it that bit stronger. So there you go, it's getting there slowly. Yeah, so what I was saying is I've got another hour or so here today. I'm going to come back tomorrow for a couple of hours, but I might start building these drawers here. Look, might have a go at a couple of them, see how I get on, um, see what they look like. Because these are the drawer fronts. They're the fronts there, there's four there, and these are the drawers themselves. So, yeah, let's see how we get on. Might, might draw, try and build a couple of those. Um, and then I'm going to have to start thinking about cutting the work surface. Yeah, I, um, I'm not keen on cutting the work surface, I must admit, but we will, we will. I think it's going to be one of the things where I'm going to measure 15 times and then measure 15 times more before I cut. So these here, I have trimmed them a little bit. So they're all a bit neater and I've screwed them together. Look. Give them a little bit of sanding just to get rid of the um, the splinters more than anything else but they ain't great it was only cheap lath 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 whatever you call it it's roofing timber it's only cheap it's treated for water but it's, it's still only cheap so before i fit the sink properly i might just paint them white and then screw them from the underside upwards okay let's keep going see how we get on you know but that's a bit better now that's a bit stronger you know and the sink will fit in there a treat now there'll be a little bit a bit of a gap but you won't see the gap at the top here between these boards and the sink because um, the work top will be a nice close fit to the sink. So. Right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's find something else to do. <laughs> well. Okay, back in the boat. And today is Wednesday the 14th of July. Um, today, still on the kitchen. Much more the same as yesterday. Just uh, fiddling about, doing a few little bits. I know I said yesterday earlier I was going to um, fix some of the drawers before I went home but um, I didn't, I went home. I was absolutely shattered yesterday so I, uh, I finished the recording, said I was going to do it, sat down, five minutes, had a drink of squash and thought you know what I'm going home so that's exactly what I did so where I ended the recording yesterday is pretty much as far as I got. So today, um, in fact let me just turn you around and uh, show you. Be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Okay, stand by. I've done a couple of jobs so far today. Um, I've got the fixing, the fittings on now. For the top one, it is for the washing machine, and the bottom one down there is for the sink. So the washing machine goes off to the side. You can see that there. Plenty of space there to get the tube on. I have had to cut out the insulation a little bit so I can get the tube in there, um, but that's not an issue. That's not a problem. And then the one below it, I'll just put a fitting on there to, to put the tube straight on. So that's that's all well and good. That's all great. So um, I've uh, 
still thinking about this edge here. I have got another board here, look. Let me just show you. Grey board which I trimmed off, so that's got the grey bit. It's even got the top edge on it. So what I'm thinking now is, um, I'm going to unscrew that board, take it out, cut off that much, and then put that bit in. So that up the front here and across the back into in under the sink, it'll look grey. So it'll match uh, the rest of the units. Not that it really matters because this bit's going to be white and you'll probably see a lot of this anyway. So it doesn't really matter, but I'd like it to be matching as much as I can. So that's the first job I'm going to do this morning is that. So uh, let's get into it. Right, that's the grey board in. Not massively pleased. I'm a little bit out, a millimetre out there. Trouble is, when you stand this side, it shows. Hopefully, when the door's on, you won't see it. So that's them back in anyway. Um, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there slowly, slowly getting there. Right, let's have a think about drawer fronts and drawers and stuff. I'm putting the drawers in and trying to get the doors on. I might move all this junk over this side here and uh, put this unit in next. Um, measurements of this unit are slightly different. Also for this unit I'd like to drill the holes for the heating pipes. You see they've got the heating pipe through here. I'd like to drill that. Um, however I might have to rethink where I put that heating pipe. It may have to go higher up and use a pump to circulate the water because I haven't got the room because I'm mounting the toilet there. I can't run a pipe across here because the toilet will be in the way. Unless I come a little bit higher and come up here and come across the top of the toilet, that wouldn't be so bad, you know, make a bit of a feature out of it, that would be okay. Right, there's my work tops look. Can I tell you how heavy they are? Oh, they're bloody heavy. You can't lift them on your own, you really can't, they're just so heavy. But it's a slab of solid, well it's not solid, it's comp, it's, um, it's oak, but it's all patched together, look. it's all glued and stitched together, look. You can see where they've done a, a joint there, look. But it is oak. They're just stupidly heavy. I mean, stupidly heavy. Right, let's get back to the kitchen. Um, I think before I do anything, I'm going to have a quick tidy up, just back all these little bits up down here, look, and around the front here. Just get rid of these bits. Okay, stand by. Right, so I'm just sorting out the drawers. So uh, I'll show you a quick build of uh, one of the drawers. These are only quite small, they're only 40 centimetres wide. So uh, let's stick you on uh, time lapse and I'll show you a quick draw build. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, first draw in and it seems to be quite nice. Yeah, look at that bad boy. Fabulous, quite happy with that. <laughs> Needs a clean, I've got my dirty finger marks on it, but it'll clean off, it'll clean well. That, that's okay. <laughs> right, next. Right, that's the end of today. Um, I am absolutely cream crackered. So uh, that's the end of Wednesday. I'll be here again tomorrow. Um, probably gonna do more drawers tomorrow, I should think. Finish these drawers off, because they look quite good. If you look at them now, they look all right. They, uh, they want adjusting slightly, but I won't do that fully until I've got the work surfaces on. And then I'll, uh, I'll get them adjusted properly and spend a bit of time on, but now, for now that's uh, that's okay I can manage with that okay right then all right guys I will see you tomorrow all right see you bye okay back at the boat again today um, today is Thursday the 15th of July um, I'm only gonna be here for an hour or so today I'm not gonna be here very long um, I don't think I'll be coming to the boat tomorrow because I'm going to use tomorrow as a me editing day to get some uh, get some editing done. Otherwise, these videos won't get out. Um, so, yeah, I've been on nights all week, um, and I'm only here for a few hours in the day. So, today um, it's easy if I just show you, isn't it? It's probably better if I show you. So, the rest of these drawer units, I've got five more to build. I think I think there's only five. So, I've got these two here. Um, there for the unit on the far side, um, that side, and then I've got these three uh, which go in this big unit here. Look. So I'm going to do them today. Uh, that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build those. So um, yeah, they're not a great deal. So I'm not going to be here a massive amount of time, just enough to get them done and then once they're done um, I will probably call it a day. So all right. Let's get into it anyway, see where we get to, all right? See now with the joys of editing, you're not going to know what I've just done unless I tell you. Yeah, but I am going to tell you. <laughs> this was the first carcass I built. And uh, guess who put the sides on upside down? Yep, that's right. So when I come to put the drawers in, I went to put the first drawer in at the bottom, lined it all up with the first set of holes it told me to, put the drawer in, didn't line up. And I'm sat there scratching my head thinking, what on earth has gone wrong here? Yeah, idiot here, put the, put the sides on up. So this side was upside down on that side and that side was upside down on this side. So I also just stripped it, took it out, stripped it, swapped them over, put them back together and let's try again. Right, let's see how we get on this time, eh? <laughs> Silly boy. Ah, oh, hallelujah.
Well, apart from lining up the cabinets, they're done. I've got to uh, line up the drawers, not the cabinets, sorry. Yeah. So there's still, like this here, sticks out a little bit. They're lined up better now, but that drawer front sticks out. This one's slightly out of line with that one. So that one needs pulling over. And then that's pretty much about it. So, uh, lovely. So the boat's leaning in a little bit, so there you go. Look at that. Yeah, this one's sticking out slightly here. So I need to go in and line them up a little bit and get them all sorted, but I'm pleased with that. That looks very good, that does. I'm quite happy with that. I need to think about fitting the handles now. Um, and fit a door on the front of that one and then or oh, got to start thinking about work tops I'm so scared of cutting the work tops I really am I um, I can't tell you how scared I am and it's all about I, I don't mind cutting the full length of it and trimming it down to size there's a bit awkward there because that bulkhead isn't 100% straight so you know I'm gonna have to trim the edge a bit it's the sink it's around the sink oh, I'm absolutely bricking it yeah I'm gonna have to bite the bullet soon and just do it, you know. And then I uh, I need to come over this side and start thinking about doing over here then. So, but there you go. Right, happy days. Gosh, isn't the boat a mess? So that's the thing when you're on a boat and you're in a small space, you're, you're constantly shifting stuff to get to other stuff and then shifting stuff to get to other stuff, so. Right, yeah, get in there. I think, uh, I think apart from the tidy up, I think I'm pretty much done for the day now, I think. I'm not going to stay here long today, I'm absolutely uh, cream crackered. So, right, let's have a look and see what the time is. What time is it, Mr Wolf? Ten past two. Okay. Right, stand by then, let's see what we can do now. Right, you know what? I, uh, I'm going to call it a day, I think. It's smoky. Hey, up old smoky, look. I can't wait to fire them up soon once I get the electric sorted. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day today. Um, yeah, I am absolutely cream crackered. So yeah, I'll call it a day for now. Do you want to come up? You're going to be naughty and come up higher. Come on, get them. Jump. Here he comes. Up. Come on, and jump up there. You're going to jump up that side. Come on, get it. There you go. Right, here's the lap dog. Right, so I'm gonna call it a day for today. Um, I don't think I'll be back here tomorrow because I'm gonna to do tomorrow as an editing day. I'm gonna edit all my videos tomorrow. I think, uh, hang on a second, I think the screen's a bit grubby. Stay there a second. Is that better? Might be a bit better, I'm not sure. So as I say, tomorrow I'm gonna to spend the day editing a video. Um, that's Friday. Uh, my patrons will get that Friday afternoon, Friday stroke, Friday evening. And then you guys should probably get it around about Sunday, I think. So, yeah. Right. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please hit the like button. Hit the like, hit the like button. Um, if you've got something to say, then uh, please comment down below. Uh, I always, I enjoy your comments. I like reading your comments. And also, as always, if you're not subscribed, then uh, please consider subscribing. I'd much appreciate it. So, hope you had a good, uh, a good view today. I hope it's not been too bad. I uh, hope it's not too long or too short. And I will see you in the next video, which I will probably do next week. So, I'm on similar hours next week as I was this week. So, I'll probably be here uh, Monday, Tuesday, Monday day, Tuesday day, Wednesday day. I might do a video for that and if I get a chance I might do another video for the Thursday and Friday um, when I cut the work surface that's going to be a video all of itself I think because like I said I'm absolutely bricking it you know they're about 300 pound a piece in work tops uh, and I don't really want to cock up so once I get it to size I'll probably put it in place and then cut it a bit smaller and slowly work my way out with a plane or something like that I think you know or cut a bit extra off each time um, yeah but we'll see how we go we'll see how it goes all right then guys um, take care of yourselves, look after your families, and I'll uh, I'll see you on the next video. Okay? All right. See you. Bye. So as I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, um, 
the mummy duck situation has uh, has changed slightly. She's no longer got little chicks. She's now got three proper big ducklings. Look, uh, there were eight eggs. One of them failed to hatch, and the others have just disappeared. I don't know where they've gone, but she's got three left. So there they are. Look, they're getting quite big now. Look as well, aren't they? They ain't little baby ducks anymore. Well, they are baby ducks, but they're not tiny. 